Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about advanced topics related to multi-core programming on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And in this video, we will have a look at core synchronization and lock allocation. So first of all, let me tell you what is core synchronization. Core synchronization is a technique or a method by which we ensure that both the cores do not access a particular section of the code simultaneously at the same time and that section of code is known as the critical section and this critical section of the program consists of the shared resources of any program that can be accessed by both the cores but in general we prevent both the cores from accessing these shared common resources simultaneously in order to avoid some crucial and serious errors in the system design however if the threads access the critical section of the program at the same time and changes the data simultaneously then this condition is known as a race condition and it is a very devastating condition for the execution reliability and the stability of the entire program and the system as a whole and we would like to avoid such situations where both the cores and both the threads are executing the same code or some different code on the same shared data and changing it arbitrarily so in order to avoid that we take the use of core synchronization techniques and in this raspberry pi pico we can apply this technique simply by using the thread library and using simple lock allocations which we will now see in the demonstration so this is a very simple demonstration and there is no circuit diagram because we are just connecting the raspberry pi pico with our computer by using a usb cable and here in this setup we will demonstrate how to use core synchronization so our main core will execute these lines of code and it is nothing but simulating a sensor on core 1 because I want to keep this demonstration as simple as possible therefore I have not connected any external sensor instead what we are doing is we are simulating the presence of sensor on the core 1 and we are assuming that the sensor is having uh, three outputs so first is pressure second is altitude and third is temperature and every time this loop repeats the value of these three global variables will be changed by the sensor and these three uh, variables are the global variables pressure altitude and temperature and this is a way by which both the cores can communicate with each other by the use of global variables so what we are doing is the first core is accessing the global variables and changing it while the second core is also accessing the global variables and printing the data corresponding to the values of the pressure altitude and temperature variables so first let me uh, run the micro python script so first the core one is active and then it will simulate the presence of sensor one then it will update the global variables and after that it will release the lock which will deactivate the core one and in the meanwhile the second core gets activated by acquiring the lock and then it will access the global variables and then it will print the value of the three sensor outputs that is pressure temperature and altitude by using the global variables so now you can see that both the cores that are activating and deactivating one at a time when the core 1 is activated the core 2 remains deactivated and when the core 2 gets activated the core 1 gets deactivated all this is controlled by the use of a core lock which the individual core has to acquire before it gets activated and once the core finishes the execution of the code the core has to release the lock so that the lock can be acquired by the next core so this is the execution and demonstration of core synchronization and lock allocation and now i will tell you about the micropython script 
so let me stop the execution of this program and let us now have a look at the micro python script so here i have updated the firmware to v1.15 and first you have to import the libraries so we do not need the pin library here because we are not using any external peripheral or any external sensor so first we will import the required libraries here you will import this underscore thread library and second one is the micro time library now you have to define the global variables here i have taken three global variables that is pressure altitude and temperature and initialized them with zero and these global variables will be used for establishing communication between core one and core two in this program the core one is changing the value of these three global variables and the core 2 is accessing these global variables and printing the value of the three global variables so this is a simple method by which data can be transferred between the two cores or rather we can say that data can be shared between the two cores by using global variables and now you have to make a core lock that will be used for synchronization so you will use this underscore thread dot allocate lock and you make a core lock object by using this line of python code in this way you are now having a core lock which needs to be acquired and released for the particular core activation and deactivation now you have to define the function that will handle the second core operations that is core number two so like the previous video that we already discussed in the first part of this multi thread programming in the similar way we will define the second core function that will access these three global variables namely pressure altitude and temperature then you have to make one while loop while true loop then this second core is just reading the values of these three global variables and then printing the value so first you have to acquire the lock so on this core lock object you will use this acquire method this acquire method once the core gets the lock the core will be activated and the code inside this loop will be executed so first it will print core 2 is active and then some time delay that is totally optional and then printing virtual sensor values and then some time delay i have given time delays so that you can properly read while the data is being displayed on the micro python console you can totally skip these time delays and now you are printing the value of pressure altitude and temperature uh, these three are the global variables that are altered by the core number 1 and here in core number 2 you are printing the values of these three global variables and now you are releasing the lock so you have to use this dot release method on the core lock object you have already created this core lock by using underscore thread library and allocate lock method now you have to start the new thread and send data from core 1 to core 2 but you are not directly sending the data from core 1 to core 2 but you are using global variables to send the data from core 1 to core 2 because the global variables are the common or the shared data between the two cores so now this is the main loop you will create while true and now you will acquire the lock core lock dot acquire so this line of code will enable the core one and the code inside this loop will be executed so these are similar print statements so you will print core one is active some time delay and now this is the simulation of sensor values because i have not used a real sensor here because it will over complicate the code so that is why we are taking the global variable pressure and incrementing it by 20 similarly we are taking the global variable altitude and incrementing it by 10 and pressure and incrementing it by 5 so that 
after every repetition of the loop you are having different values of these three global variables you can also use a real sensor maybe in some later part of the video i will use some real sensors with multi core programming but here for the purpose of demonstration i want to keep the code as simple as possible and now after simulating a sensor on the core number 1 we are uh, updating the global variables and some time delay that are totally optional and then at the last you have to release the lock so we will use this core lock dot release method and once the lock is released by core number 1 the core number 2 will acquire the lock and will get activated and when the core number 1 release the lock the core number 1 becomes deactivated so in this way we can have a program that will enable or that will deactivate the two cores by using this acquire and release methods as and when required so i hope you have learned how to make custom lock objects and acquire them when we want to execute the code on a particular thread and also how to use this release method when we want to deactivate a particular core so this is the implementation and i will make another video that is part number 3 of multi thread programming that will deal with interrupts and multi thread programming so this is the end of the video uh, thank you very much for watching it